Hello everyone, I'm Noe Kitch. If you want to know more about Russia and you understand my English, please welcome to my channel. Today we will continue discuss the situation on the future Russia election. In previous video I begin to explain you that we have a new strong candidate, Pavel Grudinin. We were so inspired, uh, but I thought, mm, I suppose we should wait for any discreditation inf discreditating information about him. In two weeks the situation changed a lot. So first we was uh, so surprised that his candidature on all polls grew up so strong and if people have to choose between Putin and Grudinin, Grudinin take 75%. Can you imagine? Of course, we expected uh, that uh, dirty information about Grudinin will appear on TV or in uh, official media, because for sure official media they uh, obey to official uh, government and uh, strong candidate uh, Putin. Uh, and I support that we will find any dirty information that he eat babies for breakfast or he is a drug user or maybe gay. But no, that is interesting but dirty information was offered by opposition. What they say? Uh, first of all, they say that Pavel Grudinin is a Jewish. Second, they discuss that all official media, first channel, second channel, uh, Russia 25, uh, you know, government, uh, pro-government uh, TV channels, uh, they give strong support to Pavel Grudinin. For opposition it looks very strange. They say, mm, for sure, this Pavel Grudinin is a project of Kremlin. What, uh, what this project means exactly? Ah, yes, and in internet too, we just can see as uh, all these trolls, they push people support Grudin, we can see that immediately in internet everything is so transparently. So, uh, so uh, they say that uh, this uh, Kalhoz named Lenin, it's not exactly Kalhoz, they just use this word Kalhoz, but actually it's just regularly private commercial agricultural plant. And people who work and uh, live in this uh, South House, uh, they um, almost like a slave. And last, uh, they discussed that for a long time Pavel Grudin was in a group, uh, you know, of friends of Putin. How is possible that he uh, changed his opinion uh, so uh, quickly? So now opposition are so confused and people are so confused, we just don't understand what to do. Because for one hand, uh, government say our main aim to push people arrive to election and to vote. But we don't understand why, because actually on Russia we don't have law limit for election. It means that even if one person will vote, for example, for Putin, he will win. And we don't have in that list for on election, you know, we don't have opportunity to vote against all candidates. No, we have to choose somebody. So, we don't understand why it's necessary to use Grudinin to push people arrive to election. What is the aim? We don't understand. In the same time, we have uh, Navalny. It's a so strange candidature too. What is his role in this uh, show candidate? Because for sure, he is a very strong candidate. A lot of people and uh, all over the Russia support him. In the same time, he pushed people do not go to election, do not vote. But you know that uh, if people don't go to vote, it's uh, for, for sure another people will vote for Putin uh, and Navalny uh, fight with Putin all the time. We don't understand. And second, what the opposition discussed, and not only opposition, why Navalny didn't offer another candidature for uh, for thousands of people who support him. Why he didn't say, okay, uh, people who supported me, please support this new candidate. Uh, some, maybe somebody from his campaign, or I don't know, Ksenia Sobchak, or somebody, you know? Somebody who can receive all support that have no one. We absolutely confused. We don't understand how it will develop. Let's admire together. If this video was interesting, interesting for you subscribe on my channel thumbs up next video i think i will make about uh, feminism if it's interesting for you thumbs up